Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. Welcome back to another video. Now, if you're like me, you're probably super excited about CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Now, there's one thing at CES that's really captured my attention, and that's from a little company called Alltel. Now, whether you've heard of Alltel or not, that doesn't matter because what I'm about to tell you is something that's really caught my attention. I'd really love to get my hands on this new drone as soon as possible. But I'm going to go in and explain why it excites me. So Alltel has a few drones on the market today. To look at them from a design perspective, they closely mimic the physical characteristics of a DJI Phantom. Now DJI Phantom without a doubt is my favorite drone on the market today. It's been reliable. Sure there's been troubleshooting challenges, but it's been a reliable aerial platform for me. What Alltel has announced at 2017 CES is something that's hopefully going to, hey, maybe it's going to become DJI's first true competitor. I mean, unfortunately, GoPro failed. GoPro failed miserably, and I hate that for GoPro. But maybe Alltel will become DJI's first true competitor. So the new drone that they've announced at 2017 CES has captured my attention and, and just ways that another that other drones have not number one it has a modular camera and not only does it have a modular camera but it's a 4k camera with a one inch sensor now they haven't released all the technical specs but does that mean that it'll be 4k 60 6 0 like the phantom 4 pro hopefully so so that's one piece that's exciting the thing that's most exciting is that that camera is modular so they've got other options that they're touting. They're touting a thermal camera, a thermal camera, which would be really cool, and also a 360 camera, which is something I've been preaching since 360 cameras came out. Why don't we have a 360 camera on a drone yet? You know, that seems like people are just missing the bus. So that's exciting. What's really exciting about it is the landing gear. So again, it looks close in uh, in physical appearance to a Phantom. You know the landing gear on the Phantom that sticks down on this all tail folds up like that. So I mean you're talking about something that could be a potential game changer. Now again I've not yet gotten my hands on the new all, all tail drone but as soon as I can I hope to do so and I hope to do so as soon as possible because the camera looks cool that's you know, my number one requirement is a camera that's 4K and very reliable, something that offers good image quality, but also offers good image stability. And I think, and I'll have to look at the technical specs, but I think that it's probably an Exmor based camera, which, you know, Sony is awesome. So, you know, it's, it's again, have not gotten my hands on it yet, but on paper, this thing could be a game changer. Not only could this be a game changer for, for Alltel, but it could be a game changer for the industry as a whole. Because if they come out with all of these features in a package that offers more functionality, you know, something that offers more functionality than the Phantom, the current model Phantoms at the time of posting this do not have a modular camera. Obviously the exception was an old model Phantom, the Phantom 2, which you could pop a GoPro on and use different model GoPros. But Phantom 3 through present, Phantom 4 Pro, do not have modular cameras. For that reason, the Alltel could be a game changer. The Phantoms do not have retractable landing gear. For that reason, the Alltel could be a game changer. The Phantoms do not offer a modular camera, so you don't have a thermal option. You don't have a 360 option. That could be a game changer. So, you know, worst case scenario, they fail epically for some reason. But I don't see that happening. If they're really, if they've got a quality product, quality customer service, and a very competitive price, this is something that should cause competitors such as, as DJI to, you know, maybe there'll be some price wars. Maybe we'll be able to 
continue to enjoy this drone hobby without having to spend as much to play the game. Who knows? But one thing's for certain, it's going to all be here on Irish Guys Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash Irish Guy, and obviously 400 or below.com. That's right, 400 or below.com. I'm going to tear into all of this because 2017, as I previously indicated, 2017 is going to be an epically exciting year for drones. And this is just one of the first things that I've seen in 2017 that is just, I mean, it's, it's got me excited. Again, the features that I just discussed, but also if it's executed well, if it's priced properly, and the customer service is there. Hopefully customer service won't even be needed. Hopefully it'll be a quality product. But I'm just thrilled to see some competitors coming to the, you know, stepping up to bat. You know, DJI is good. I love DJI. But even though I love DJI, and even though DJI Phantom is my favorite drone today, I'm not married to DJI. I want to see competition. So this excites me. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash irix guy thanks for watching and y'all have a good day hey y'all irix guy here if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe like and share it's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow thank you